Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is Galsif 3. Let's uh, play another game with this, uh, the Space 4X, the same in space. Last time things were, well, very one-sided and yeah, I gave up because it was, the game was in the bag. Let's see how we do this time. Uh, I'm going to play another game on normal and uh, yeah, see how things turn out. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, everything seems like everything is running properly. Um, got the mic in a good location as well. Okay. Um, maybe I should wait a little bit before people get in. Now well, I guess I can at least do a new game. I oh, could also try campaign because I haven't done that yet. But now uh, games like this are all about sandbox games. Um. So, for the achievements, I still have these four races left, which I haven't played as yet. The last stream was as the Grin, the other stream was as the Altarians. The robots are still stupid since they still have to build their own um, population, which is really weird. So I guess only the evil Rengen are left. I just play as the Altarians again, because last time I played it I had like no idea what I was doing. Um, here research precursor of artifacts? Isn't that standard? Huh. I thought you also always got some research on precursor artifacts, okay. Maybe because I played with these first, and yeah. I have much harder to culture flip is good. That's very good. Influential is very good. Content is very, very good. Fragile, the... It's okay, just, just attack them. Shouldn't be that big of a problem. Fast is very good, very, very good. Organized. So, extra logistics. Now I actually know what all this means. <laughs> so, that's a big thing. Um, and what I think we'll just play the Altarians again. I, I don't have the achievement for it anyway. And yeah, we can go and do whatever we want. And, See how we turn out, even though we're sort of space elves. But, uh, um, with it influential, we could, could try and maybe go the very influential and try and culture flip some more planets like that. That sounds like a good idea. I haven't done much of that yet, just some culture flipping which happens on its own uh, after you take some enemy build, enemy bases. So. Yeah, I think we'll do the Altarians again. We're the, the Space Elves, sort of. Um, I think last time we played on large. Uh, you know what, maybe a little, we'll do medium again. Also, the, the game has, like, reset or something. I think the game has a patch out. This is point, uh, 1.02. Uh, I have no idea what really changed. I don't think I've actually played with the new patch yet, so there. Um, yeah, let's do a medium map, not all to mint which ships, so we might actually finish a game. Well, I doubt that will happen in two hours, two, three hours. But we'll see. Um, and let's see, there's still no option for randomized ships, huh? That's the thing. Um, who shall we... Uh, well, at least have a drink and we'll have something to fight against. We need him to have something to trade with. Hey, got that. You're the first here, it seems. I accidentally moved it to tiny. I'll check. Um, let's see. Let's have one more sieve. Um, the born old Yumi's? Sure. Uh, okay, let's see. Did I actually set it back? To oh, yeah, I guess I did. Um, so let's go medium, yeah? Medium, spiral, uh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, the beginner is not fine, uh, at least normal. Uh, see opponents, um, I think this is fine for a medium map, we should have one more. I don't want to do too much because then the AIs don't expand as much, and then, um, yeah, there. Of a challenge. So, I think four is fine. 
Okay, um, let's actually start. How's the sound, by the way? Can you guys hear me? Can you hear the music? Uh, all that sort of things. I think I said it correctly. The music does sound soft now, but we'll see when we're in game. So I probably need to do the thing. Uh, move the options. Um, uh, actually, this is fine. Where the chat is and where the things are. Yeah. <laughs> the Talents, the Contingency, Yim, that's just the name of their group. They're like their stories that they're from the future and uh, a far future where Terrans were Yumis. Like, destroyed the galaxy or something and they're here to prevent that. And that's why they're the Contingency. Also, we're like in the middle, huh? Okay. Well, now pull two. What's this for a planet? Plus six. Um, uh, plus six is good enough. Settle that shit. <laughs> there we go. First colony. Um, not that much stuff in here. Uh, let's start with two factories, and then we'll see. Uh, same with Altaria. Ooh, what's this a manufacturing bonus thing? And a Another bonus to manufacturing. Um, thinking. We'll do this like this and a um, Durantium refinery here. That will give us a lot of bonuses. Uh, start off with that. Maybe um, even rush by one. Nah, we're probably better off rush buying uh, things. <laughs> the Altarians. Who knows what they're resisting. So let's zoom out a little bit because when you're in this map view it's much easier to see which planets are colonizable or not. Um, you move here. You move here. Uh, we start with another scout. And then a lot of colonizers. Which are actually named light spreaders. Okay. Uh, research text wise, I think still the best to start with is uh, interstellar travel to get that one extra move on the map. That is amazing. Hmm, game music does sound very soft to me. I think we should put it up a little bit. Uh, Everything probably needs to be at like 60% then. Come on. <sighs> Mouse. This sounds better. Tell me if it's too loud. Um, okay, it, we're all automatically uh, sponsoring the shipyard. Uh, there is a precursor artifact right there. That is nice. Um, okay, let's turn. There's some Durantium to take. Mm, let's stick find a middle here and do a loop like that. Nothing interesting here it seems. And then the uh, boring, early boring early turns. Some more Durantium. Gotta find planets. Good ones uh, preferably. Oh, this planet seems to already have like a bigger influence sphere than this one. Weird. Um, there's a planet. Class 8. That's not worth rush buying. Yeah, there's our moves. That's up them even more with hyperdrive specialization. That is another better one. Yeah. That's one we're rushed by, actually. There we go. Should help sponsor our main shipyard over here as well. And some uh, Promethean, I think. Yeah. Uh, you want load up completely. There. Or 
14? 11. 14. Uh, and we do have enough money. Yoink. <laughs> really good to have the, the starting shipyard out, which is sponsored by a lot of planets which are inevitably close by, to uh, boost your production a whole lot. Not a scout. Um, it's, it's like it's max range where it can go. Let's do take a look down here though. Mm. Oh, you move there instead. What you load up max as well. And you go over here. Now here's Studium and Durantium. Um, Seems like a great spot for a space base. Um, hmm. Can I do still do that? Yeah. It seems like rush buying things is like maybe cheaper. This is only a thousand to rush. Only it's I think it's like fifteen hundred at least. Um. Hmm. Do you want to rush that? I don't need it right now. The thing. <laughs> um to Okay, now we have all the moves. Um then at least this deck to make upgrade our factories or our research facilities. That's the things you should always start with in this game. Oh, now the choice for uh, benevolent or not. Um, like benevolent would be a good fit for like the space elves, but we could do anything. It doesn't really matter that much. And pragmatic bonus here is nice. And pragmatic is great for building space stations. So yeah, benevolence better for baking um, good planets. Uh, research is better, uh, pragmatic is better for getting, making good space-based stations, and malevolent is better for it's all out war. Um, you guys have a um, preference? Hmm. The first stream we did malevolent, I think the second stream we did um, Malevolent. God damn, it's hard. Both are hard words to say. I think we might just go for pragmatic so I can show that. And it's plus 40% research. And we'll probably make this a science planet. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll go pragmatic. And it means he likes it as well. So, we'll go with that. Uh, this place. Boost manufacturing a lot. Also, here would be a very good spot for lots of research buildings. So I'm thinking like two factories, then a whole lot of research factory research labs. And we'll put the thulium thing in the middle here. Um, yeah, and also let's maybe rename this planet to Research Capital. is what this is going to be. Uh, also, let's have it sponsor the shipyard. It's far away, but hey, every little bit helps. There you go there. Mm. How about you cross over that way? Ideology oh, time, yeah, now we're pragmatic. Um, every tree you should basically start with the um, building, which you can build on every planet, gives you pragmatic points every 10 turns, it's a great idea. Let's uh, queue that up everywhere, um, like here, we want to prepare in the center somewhere, um, next to that is fine. Um, so the area, Wisp also needs one here. Uh, research capital. Um, yeah, do it in this corner. Fine. Actually, we might build more 
things there. Uh, cancel that. We'll do it here. Comes out of the Oort Cloud. No, oh, uh, I didn't actually read most of the text there. <laughs> so I have no real idea what you're talking about. It's so easy to, to skip over that and just look at the bonuses. There's a planet. Um, should be probably pretty soon to building another light spreader. 12 turns. Will be good enough. Uh, more flock here. Well, we're going. Pragmatic, so every plan is going to do about. Also, this is going to be a research place. Nice. Um, same idea. Let's build two factories so things build a little bit faster. This is a research style. Uh, yeah, this also will need a tulium here. This will be a very good research planet. This is a nice way to do things. Like my main planets over here are like all production. To help boost the shipyard. Oh yeah, let's also edit the new shipyard in. And the ones which are further away and which have a little bit of loss. Uh, sending towards the shipyard are actually research planets, so I'll research fast. Um, oh, there's two planets here. That seemed like a great idea. Um, okay, now we can upgrade our bases. Now from here on, I don't care as much what you do. Those are at least the first three texts you need. Uh, what is a good idea to yeah, get the Universal Translator or the Morale Bonus. And let's just go towards that uh, immediately. Such a good one, plus four Morale on all planets. Makes you not have to bother with Morale like at all. Here's two planets. Class 15 and a class 7. I'm gonna look, uh, take a look out for like plants which are near each other. That's great for shipyards. Like build up these two planets and then uh, build a shipyard next to them. And the same idea with these two. That's a great idea. Here's a black hole. Ooh, this is a great spot for a star base. We have uh, both antimatter, grantium, and thulium. And yeah, I might actually take that. This is probably closer to the AI borders. I think we should probably focus on that. Um, you know what? When this light spread is done, uh, we'll buy another one. And we'll immediately colonize these two planets. Um, yeah, sounds like a good idea. Uh, let's find out if there's more planets around here. Research casino commerce, and I can build gold buildings, which is fine, but the support of population thing is what I want. Thulium. So yeah, Thulium is for research, uh, Grantium is for production, Antimatter works on everything basically. Nice to build in the middle of different sort of buildings. Uh, Promethean is good for a shield. You can just build a, a planetary defense shield with that and that helps a lot for defense basically. Um, which was my survey ship? Must be, yeah, this one. It's the icon with the things for survey. Are there any anomalies yet? There are some. Let's go and grab those. A class 8 Earth like. Um, so I think we can start auto scouting soon. Another uh, class 12. You know what? You go on the scout. And how long until we have the light spreader two turns? We found a thing. 
Uh, I got a factory for free in this capital. Uh, this is the scanner. Go get that anomaly. Um, I guess it sort of is. Let's see if it's better though. Let's see if it's like. Culture victory and science victory are definitely attainable things. Just way easier to wow, two achievements. What the hell? Well, the girl, the worm on my head. Well, because he went into the anomaly and popped out in another space in the universe, which happened to be not that far away. Um, and there is, damn it, already a. Guess Yumi Station because it's blue. It said it was a good spot. Hmm, oh well. Uh, you go grab other things. You need to rush these two planets now though. And oh, there's two planets here. Cluster theme. Uh, we just loaded the thing, so now let's buy the other light spreader. Okay, we've got to support the population. Let's grab Universal Translator so we can talk to the humans uh, when we actually make contact. Let's grab this planet first. Oh, the, hey, there's a planet right here. Uh, class 12 as well. Uh, this one is more important though. This one we also need. You know what? We still have not many. Yes, we do. <laughs> How did I miss this one? Damn. Immediately rush that. We'll make that another uh, manufacturing place. And... You know, it gets a research bonus, but I don't care. Make it pragmatic. Uh, give it lots of manufacturing places. And... Hmm. We probably will be able to buy this style later on. So I'm thinking just make a lot of things like here and we'll buy this style and put a drone film refinery there. So I think this will be our um, manufacturing capital. So let's see that. Manufacturing capital. Me. Uh, now we have the, the Barbadness Center. Oh, I need to build more of those. Uh, I don't care about that. I do care about getting three free constructor vessels though. Doink, build that. That's amazing. No. <laughs> uh, so there's pirates in here. And when you go auto survey, you'll do your defining. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that stuff eventually. Not ready for that, yo. Um, now what? Um, I think we should probably keep up on science. Also, what does the social matrix do? It's like a bonus to manufacturing and research. Hmm. That's, I think, the Altarian special thing. Um, let's at least get this first. I like manufacturing more. Production is king. And all these sim like games. Uh, hey, here are the unis. Um, don't overstep yourself. Uh, you don't want to say no commerce. I do want is your star base. Oh, it sounds like two empty matter as well. Now what we might be able to do um, is buy it from them. Because the eyes are stupid enough to actually do it. Yeah, two Durantium, two antimatter. I'm not joking. <laughs> Let's see. What if I give you like all this then? And some credits. Not yet, huh? 
Um, let's not trade with you. Let's see if we can uh, make contact with the Dringen over here. Trade some tax with them. We might be able to trade for the uh, thing. For the space base. Malik, yes. Ooh, this is pretty terrible. Um, let's start with two factories. This planet is good for tourism and social manufacturing. Gold. It would be a gold capital, but it's kind of crappy. We'll see after this. Also, what happened to our three free constructor vessels? Oh, we never actually selected it. That's the problem. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see, at least should take one start studying the precursor thing. Maybe one to boost up nearby planets. Um, and one for a shipyard near here. Definitely. And the final one. They should get a thulium. And a rontium. Here's two durantium, but no thulium. Here as well. Here will be two uh, durantium and a thulium, which will be fine. What are we making, by the way? Uh, another deep root. Make me more light spreaders. So, can like, someone make contact with the things? This is scanner ship. What are my auto scouts doing? You go uh, here instead. Let me make contact with them so I can trade with them. Okay, then let's do research thing here first. Go like that. Pragmatic. Oh, don't forget to make the preparedness centers. For the military. Um, Here, but maybe a market center because this is a good gold tile. Um, don't forget to prepare the centers. Yeah, the new planet here. Can have one. This is uh, influence or approval. Uh, yeah, let's make a star base here. First one. Uh, I upgrade that to a mining rig. Now I have my sodium at least. Uh, next turn I will have um, you. There's no other research artifacts here. Well, at least start one here. Sydney archaeology. Oh man, I could have both. I should have made it a little bit closer to here, and I could have had the both the Xeno archaeology and the planet boosting thing. Oh well. Um, the shipyard around here-ish. Oh fuck pirates. Well, let's do a quick battle. So, there is pirate territory. And I have Thulium and I have Durantium. Tourism boom, but I don't know tourism yet. <laughs> um, yeah. So I need to start thinking about making like a fleet soon. I want you to be in range of 